So many things bother us as layer poultry farmers. And one of the things that bother us will be the size of our eggs. The size of our eggs. This always causes a lot of um, arguments between the farmer and the wholesalers or the, whoever they are selling the eggs to. There's always a complaint about, oh, why is the size of your egg this way? Why is the size of your egg that way? So in this video today, we're looking at the factors that would affect, that might affect the size of the eggs we produce on our farm. Stick around and watch this video to the end. I'm sure you're going to find it very helpful. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Poetry with Modipe. My name is Modipe. I'm a layer poetry farmer doing business in Nigeria. I am helping new and existing poetry farmers scale up in their business, do well in their business, and of course, make good profits also. So today, like I said, we're talking about factors that affect, influence the sizes of our eggs. See, as a layer poetry farmer, what are we doing if, if the sizes of our eggs are small and they don't make us profitable? In this business, what will make you more profitable will be when you're selling your, your eggs at the optimal price. You're selling it at the best price available. Say, for instance, in my farm now, I have, I'm producing like 150 fruits. Okay. Someone has said I should not always use the big numbers. So let me come to the small numbers. So let's say in my farm, I am producing about 30 crates of eggs per day. So we know that currently, let's say um, one crate of egg is sold to about 5,000 naira. That's automatically about 150,000 naira, right? But now, instead of selling my 30 crates, like now I get my 30 crates per day. And of that 30 crates, I am getting um, 18 crates of big size eggs and 12 crates of small size eggs. So let's do the math, just so you know, um, so you have a better understanding of what I'm talking about. So we are selling um, the big size for 5,000 naira, and we're getting 18 crates. From the 30 crates we got at the farm, 18 crates is big, 12 crates is small. So we're saying 18 times 5,000 naira, right? That's 90. Plus this 12 crate that is small, we're selling it for, in all honesty, small eggs, it's probably about 4,000 naira, 4,200 naira at the moment. So we're going to use 4,000 naira. 4,000 naira times 12. So we're getting 138,000 naira for that 30 crates. You know that if they were all big and we're able to sell at 5,000 naira, we're going to sell the egg realized per day at 150,000 naira. But now we have small and big, and it has further reduced the price, um, it has further reduced the revenue of the farmer to 138,000 naira. So it means that averagely, it means that averagely the farmer is selling one crate of egg at 4,600 naira. Do you see that the, the size of the egg has influenced what the farmer could earn on their farm every day? And this is why the size of our eggs matter. But then, what are these factors that will affect the size of our eggs? If you've watched to this extent and you've not subscribed on my channel, tell me what are you even doing? Please click on the subscribe button, please like, please share, please comment, and let's all just learn together. And also, if you're looking to start your poultry farm, you're an intending poultry farmer, and you're looking to start your poultry farm very soon, you don't have the knowledge, you don't have the information, you can reach out to me via the seller link in the description box or send me an email, poultry at gmail.com, and book a two hour consultation session with me. You can also purchase my trusted poultry vendor list where you get the contacts of poultry inputs you're going to be needing in your business, even as an existing poultry farmer. You're going to find this useful because in the ultimate trusted poultry vendor list, you're going to get contact of um, where you can get your point of lay, where you can get your day or chips, where you can get your um, cages contacts you can reach out to, and you get your cages, your feed, poultry input, medication, and so many other useful, um, useful details in your poultry business. So send me an email to also purchase the trusted poultry vendor list or click on the seller link in the description box. There you're also going to be able to purchase my digital product. Yes, the ultimate trusted poultry vendor list is my digital product. So let's continue to the factors that will affect or influence the size of your eggs. Number one is nutrition. Your nutrition is very important. If you're using a feed that isn't so great, that maybe the protein level is not great, the um, energy level is not great, it's going to affect the size of your eggs. See, age is a major factor that influences size of eggs. But let's take age aside, right? Your beds might be 50 weeks old, 60 weeks old, and they are still laying small eggs. So now let's look at the factor that would cause that. Nutrition is one of them. This is why we always advise that a farmer, as a farmer, you use 
quality layer feed, layer mash, layer pellets, layer crumb pellets. You use quality layer feed for your birds. If you give your birds nutritious feed, trust me, they would lay big eggs for you over time. So nutrition is very, very important. The weight of your birds would also influence the size of eggs they will lay. So if your birds are on the weight when they get to your farm, trust me, it will take a longer time for them to produce big eggs because egg production works with the maturity of the birds also. If your birds are not matured enough, if their reproductive organs are not matured enough, they will not start laying. And of course, if laying doesn't commence early, it will also affect when you would start seeing your big eggs. So the weight of your birds also influence the size of the eggs the birds will lay for you. Another thing that will influence the size of your eggs will be that um, will be lighting. If you don't give your birds enough light, it will also influence the size of their eggs. At least we say that it is important that you give your birds about 16 hours of light a day. Yes, of course, they have to sleep also. So if you give them the right hours of light a day, trust me, you have good production and bigger sizes of eggs also. Another factor that influences the size of eggs is also stress and illness. See, if your birds are sick, if they are not feeling well, if they are stressed, heat stress, weather stress, feeding stress, feed change stress, um, new staff um, change of face stress, medication stress, vaccination stress. If your birds are stressed, it will affect the size of their eggs. I have some birds on my farm. Okay, like, let me use the instance of my awesome flock. If I'm giving them medication now, or maybe the one medication especially, I know that I'll have lots of smaller eggs from them. Yes. So medication, vaccination, heat stress, and any stress or illness. If your birds are sick also, they're not able to eat enough. They're not able to drink enough water. It will also affect the size of their eggs. Let's have this in mind also. Another thing we should have at the back of our mind as farmers is that each flock is unique. See, some breed also generally will not lay big eggs. I've got, I've got some birds at my farm. I saw them like two years ago. My progressive flock. For people that have probably have been watching my video from, from my beginning. <laughs> yeah, so if you are one of such people, you can please drop a comment. Let me say thank you to you. People who have been watching my videos from my beginning. Yeah, that's the word. From my own beginning. Yeah, the birds we started with on our farm were the progressive flock. You see those progressive flocks? Damn it. You need to see their eggs. Their eggs were huge from, I think from like 45 weeks, they were giving me very huge eggs. I don't think I've had such flock again on my farm or such breed. Not even breed now. I think it's that particular flock. They were just great. Yes. We had the next one we had after them, the excellence flock. Those ones were a mess. They, they were just not so great. So you see, each flock is unique. And of course, like I said, some breed will definitely give you smaller size of eggs. These are brown, they are always great. They'll give you a decent size of eggs. So I think I probably would always preach Isa brown as far as breed of layer birds is concerned. If you have watched this extent and you have not subscribed on my channel, tell me what are you even doing? Please click on the subscribe button. Please join my membership. So let me even know what are you even using to support me on this channel? What? Please join my membership. Please like, please share, please comment and all the good stuff. And again, don't forget that I still offer consultation for um, incending poultry farmers, even existing poultry farmers. You need to have discussions with me. You can book a two-hour consultation session with me via the seller link or send me an email, poultrywithmodica.gmail.com. Book a session and let's talk about your business. And again, if you're still interested in getting my ultimate trusted poultry vendor list, you can also use the seller link or send me an email also so that we get that out of the way for you. So we'll see you on another video. I still remain poetry with Modipe. So share this video to one poetry farmer you know. Yeah, that's another thing you can do to support my channel. And please, I hope you did not skip my ads. If you skip my ads, please go back and watch from the beginning again. Thank you and bye-bye.